Uh, what dynamic did, did Clay bring back to the starting lineup tonight? Uh, just to, obviously he's, his gravity, his ability to give us you know spacing on the floor. I think it, uh, it was an effort to unlock JK and Wiggs, you know, give them driving lanes and you know get them more involved early in the game. Obviously Miami is they're really kind of sneaky in some of the defensive schemes they have and zone man uh you know different coverages bam protecting the rim. So it's helpful to have, you know, Clay out there doing what he does. Um and it's a credit to him just in general on being able to respond to whatever he's been asked to do this year, uh, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's starting. Uh, most people think that might be, I don't know, maybe they think it's easy to just transition from one to the other, and it's not. You have to kind of prepare your mind to, you know, and your body to be ready for whatever you know is thrown at you. So it's credit to him and his 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 attitude and his preparation and you know going out there and hooping the way he does. Steph, you guys held the Heat to 40% shooting in the second half, and I believe 37 combined points after them shooting about 51% in the first half. What was the biggest change for you guys on that side of the floor? Just playing a little bit more physical. We kept getting beat on. Back cuts and even whether they scored or not, it was causing our defense to have to react, and then they would open up a, either three for somebody in a corner or uh, you know, just a breakdown that would you know give them space. And I think we got a little bit more discipline in the second half. It's the NBA. There's so much talent out there. Obviously, they're missing a lot of guys, um, but if you give you know them confidence and. You know their patterns start to you know attack you. That's when they're they're lethal. I don't care who's out there. So we were very much more disciplined in the second half to keep things in front of us, make them take tough shots, and you live with it. Steph, there, Bam's talked about in the past. There was a play in his rookie year where he was guarding you, and it was kind of the play that put him on the defensive map. I'm just wondering what number one, if you remember that play, and two, just what, what are the ways you've seen him develop defensively and, and kind of matching up in that way. I do remember that player for sure. Is in this building. Uh, he's he's versatile. He's long. He can move his feet. He, he's a, obviously a great rim protector. And you know, there's a reason they've been in the finals twice. Uh, obviously, you know what Jimmy's able to do and the, the guys around him. But Bam's a huge part of connecting the game on both ends. He's obviously a great uh, weapon on on the offensive end with his. He can put pressure on the rim. He's got mid-range. He hit a three tonight. They run a lot of actions around him. So then you add that to the defensive you know, presence. That's why he, he's an all-star. That's why he is who he is. Steph, there's a lot of teams that can make a reasonable argument why they're going to be the team at the end that wins the whole thing. Is this the most parity? Would you even call it that? Is this the most parity that you can remember and – is it good that there's a lot of teams that clearly have stepped up in recent years and are com can compete for the whole thing? It's great for the league. It hasn't been good for us this year. <laughs> we, uh, we've been on a nice run since January 1st and haven't really made up any ground in, in the conference standings. Um, but, yeah, you want to see – capable teams all around the league. I think on paper, right, like it's it's names uh, in the Western Conference and it's great teams and a combination of all of that that, to your point, it wouldn't be a surprise if any of the top, you know, 10, 11, whatever, made a run. Um, obviously, Denver being the champs and still at the top of the standings, they're – they're the champs until somebody beats them, um, and even on the other side. So, yeah, it's great to see, you know, that much competition, and I'm sure it'll be a uh, a show down the stretch of the season and the playoffs with whatever matchups happen and a lot of excitement around the league. Steph, Clay said that the team is confident to make a push towards the playoff. What does, does the team uh, need to do better to make that big push? Play a brand of basketball like we did tonight. I think we were, 
like I said, in the second half, we were a lot more disciplined, a lot more physical on defense. We took care of the basketball tonight, which is a big deal for us, the way that we play. Kept the turnovers down, created some really good looks. But can't get too ahead of ourselves. Just take it. Every, I know y'all love that answer. Take it a game at a time. And uh, But honestly, that's our only way to get to where we want to go because it's been a, a wild roller coaster of emotions this year for us. Steph, the Heat are known for kind of doing everything they can to take away the other team's best player. I know you've played against them for years and you faced every coverage, but going into a game like this tonight, how does that affect your mentality knowing that you know you can get these you know forced two to the ball possessions and other guys will be open or does it mix you up in any way not knowing what type of defenses they're going to run it challenges you to kind of see the game um like and i was kind of talking about earlier whether it's a zone possession a man possession they were pressing it tests your patience for sure because you got to be you don't know when your looks are going to come you know you're going to see bodies i think there was a couple possessions i came off of pin downs and caught it, and there were two people there. Got by them. There's another person back there, and we swing, swing. We got a good look. Uh, they were trapping off of ISO uh, possessions and get the body hands and swing it, find the open guy. They got Loon that dunk down in you know, the fourth quarter because they were paying a lot of attention to our perimeter. So like, as long as you just stay patient and see what's in front of you. Keep your turnovers down. Don't get rushed. Then, whether I'm taking a shot or we're getting a good look, that's good offense. And uh, you mentioned the roller coaster of the year, obviously with emotions and a quick turnaround for you guys with with Orlando. But what, what stands out to you to some of the some bit of the success that you guys have had on the road? That's why we think we're still a good team that can beat anybody because we can. You know, our defense can travel. You know, we've had good performances. Even at home, we've had big leads on good teams, but have let us slip. So, you know, we don't. Uh, our record doesn't. You are what your record is. I mean, that's what the the line is. But we do feel like we've kind of underachieved on that front. And but there's still belief that you can get hot. That you can establish the identity that you need to have uh, to be a, a team that can win four games against anybody in the Western Conference in a playoff series. And until we don't have that opportunity anymore, we're going to still believe it. Just to follow up on the earlier questions about the way the Heat toggle between defensive schemes, um, why do you think more teams don't play that way? You have to be a very disciplined team and a very connected team because it requires a lot of trust and communication. Um, obviously, I have a great coach that year after year, uh, you know, they have their core, but they have fine guys that plug those holes and play a certain brand of basketball. So if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? How good has Clay been for an extended stretch now? He's been great. Uh, like I was talking about earlier, I think he. There's nobody that uh, could handle the kind of whether you're off the bench, you're starting, how many minutes you play, and in, in, in comparison to his entire career and his body of work, nobody could handle it like Clay in, in the sense of you know just being prepared, accepting his. Uh, you know what he's asked to do and, and going out and performing and I think he shot the ball extremely well as of late he's been very consistent and he's given us a huge boost in whatever role he's played so uh, there's a it's, a it's a challenge he could have gone the other way in the sense of you know resisting the the evolution of what he's been asked to do this year and he's responded extremely well we need that energy because he gives us so much on that front like he did tonight Cool.